Welcome to Digital Asset News, to get top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down into bite-sized pieces. Today, it's all coming together. First up, PayPal users very hungry for Bitcoin, and this is the understatement of the year. I'm going to show you how PayPal and Square are gobbling up 100% of newly minted Bitcoin. So what does that mean for everybody else? I'll let you make that decision. SoftBank CEO says he doesn't understand Bitcoin, but yet he put in $200 million and sold it at a loss of over $130 million, which he could have made if he just would have held. And we're going to talk about that and why in Bitcoin, 10 days dictates all of your profits. And finally, unfortunately, a fake Uniswap app on Google Play Store has already lost one user $20,000 and I expect to see more. And we're going to tell you exactly how to avoid this nonsense. Before we do that, let's take a look at what's going on the market. So today it is uh, November 20th. It is 4 p.m. Texas time I'm getting done late. Just everything kind of piles up. But hey, we're here. So what do we got today? Well, not a bad day uh, for Bitcoin holders. 18.5. It's almost up 4% for a 24-hour time frame. 14% for the week, and it is massive. And we take a look at this story. Uh, you're going to see exactly why everything's moving in this direction. It only makes sense. Uh, Ethereum busted through 500. Didn't look back. Up almost 8%, 10% for the week. Tether's uh, sitting at 18 billion uh, for a market cap. So that's uh, looking pretty great. XRP, watch out, 32 cents, looking good. Chainlink, $14 and really not looking back either. 3.7 for uh, the 24 hour and then 14% almost for seven days, looking pretty good. Litecoin continues its amazing run because it's on that PayPal app. And uh, if you're looking at Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum and Litecoin, which one are you gonna pick? Add eh, the cheapest one. Polkadot, $5.30. Congratulations, Polkadot owners. Uh, this is your day. Looking really good. Bitcoin Cash up 4.3. Same reason for PayPal. Cardano up 8% and finally breaks above a dime. Unbelievable. So now we're looking at 11 cents, maybe 12 cents. Who knows? 3.2 for Bitcoin SV. EOS 5.7. Anything great. Stellar up 3%. 16% for crypto.com. Don't understand why. I'm sure it has to do something with their Crow token. Sure, whatever. 3.7 up for Cosmos, interoperability. I mean, look, everybody's up, essentially. Let's, uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Celsius making some massive gains, probably because uh, Alex was on my show yesterday. No, I'm just kidding. So uh, if you didn't have a chance to check that out, yesterday we did an interview with Alex Mashinsky. It is long. I went against my own rules and uh, put up an interview that was uh, over 45 minutes. I really shouldn't have done that. I should have broken that up. But it is what it is. I will never do that again. Um but it's got a lot of great information. And we talk about not only what happened with that DNS propagation when their site went down, but the insurance for Celsius, how they make yield with shorts, arbitrage, and market makers. And also something surprising to me, which is when institutions give them collateral, they actually use that collateral and make more loans on top of their plans for moving forward and also where this Celsius token is going and how it retains value. And you can see right now, looking pretty good. So that was an interesting case. Uh, Uniswap up 5%, uh, just bet, uh, did fall below $4, so that's a bummer. 3.4, I out of 4.2, 20% for Waves. I've got to get into Waves. Looks like it's doing pretty good. Let's see what it's all about. Do that later on top of the other thousand things i got to do. Ontology up 3.6, 8% for Kusama. Good job. 16% uh, for Decred. Huh, okay. 0x2.3, 5%. Hey, Zillica, I'm going to uh, really take a deep dive into Zillica. I may be investing into that. That looks pretty good. Also, if you don't know, I've decided to invest into Bitcoin Cash because it is one of the big four for PayPal and you can't overlook it. I mean, really, you can't. People do not know what Bitcoin Cash is. They don't even know what Bitcoin is. They're going to look at PayPal. They're going to go, oh, what is this? A new stock? Bitcoin looks pretty good, but it's, oh my God, it's almost 20,000. What well, Bitcoin Cash, I don't know what that is, but it's cash. And it's, uh, how much is it? It's only 250. Shoot, I'll buy that. And that's the same thing why also uh, Litecoin went up. So look, if you don't believe in the fundamentals, you don't really like Bitcoin Cash, sure, that's your thing. But uh, really, if you just, you can't ignore it. So that's what's going on the market. Let's break into today's top story. So first up, PayPal users very hungry for Bitcoin, understatement of the year. So another great article by Alex Dobnia, fantastic work. So What's happening here? Pantera Capital, pretty massive hedge fund, uh, they claim that the payments giant PayPal is gobbling up almost 70% of newly minted coins, according to the fund's estimations. And the reason why they got there is because PayPal partnered with Paxos. Paxos has an exchange called ItBit. When you take a look at ItBit for all the different Bitcoin purchases, you can see pretty steady for you know, the last uh, year or so, and then all of a sudden, boop, to the moon, Alice. And there's really only one reason for that, 
it's because they partner with PayPal. So if you extrapolate that data and take a look at what is going on, well, they're gobbling up almost 70% of the entire supply of Bitcoin. And that's pretty amazing because PayPal only opened it up to US users within the last week. So remember that they first started at 10%, then they let the floodgates open and here they are, best decision they ever made. And not until Q1 of 2021 are they gonna open it up globally. And globally, there are over 300 and something million active users. So that's pretty amazing. So really what I did right there is I just bypassed the whole article. That's what's going on. One quote though sums it all up. This is from Pantera Capital. It states, the dashed horizontal line in the graphic represents the total supply of newly issued Bitcoins plus the original ITBIT volume. So we can see like that. This is the original volume all the way up. If their growth persists, PayPal alone would be buying more than all of the newly issued Bitcoin within weeks. So if you're thinking about supply and demand, well, what happens if, you know, all the supplies gobbled up and, you know, you got somebody like Grayscale, uh, they gobbled up. 500,000 Bitcoin alone, and they're in the hunt for Bitcoin as well as Ethereum. And then we got Square uh, in the background, and who knows what MicroStrategy is doing uh, behind closed doors because they just accumulated roughly 425 million worth of Bitcoin a couple of months ago, and nobody knew about it. That's just the ones that we kind of know about. What's going on behind the scenes? Interesting times, my friends. Interesting times. So there is one thing on this channel. I am not prone to hypey stuff and saying everything is going to go to the moon and it's going to be the most breakingest news and it's going to be awesome and da da da. But I have to tell you, I got to tell you, uh, this right here, the most bullish news I've heard in a very long time. Let me in the comments section. Let's move on. Next up, SoftBank CEO says he doesn't understand Bitcoin, yet he bought $200 million worth of it. So this was a kind of interesting, crazy story. And it goes to show you that people who are even in the financial sector don't really know what to do. So this is the story. SoftBank CEO Masayoshi Sun said that he doesn't understand Bitcoin, and he, but he spent a good chunk of his time tracking its movement while investing in the crypto. A friend told him to invest 1% of his personal assets into Bitcoin, meaning he invested $200 million. So I don't know how much this guy's worth, but if his $200 million is 1% of his uh, personal assets, this guy's uh, quite the baller. But here's the thing. This is what a friend told him, right? For all those financial planners and investment gurus who are, are dealing with clients, they need to start talking about Bitcoin seriously to people and going, hey, like I've always said, hey, Jerry, you know what? I don't know what's going to happen with the market, but this Bitcoin thing is really going uh, through the roof. Let's offset some of these risks by putting you into Bitcoin, not 50%, not 10%. Let's do 2%, 1% to 3%. How about that? And uh, we'll just see how it goes. This guy did 1%, and uh, unfortunately, it just became such a distraction to him that he had to sell. And he said uh, he sold his stake in Bitcoin, and he estimates that he lost around $50 million. But according to uh, the report, Sun lost closer to $130 million when he sold his stake in 2018, citing sources who are familiar with the matter. So this really comes down to dollar cost average and holding. I mean, if you don't want dollar cost, you want to dump everything in, fine. But if you can just hold on to your investments, works out pretty well. And there is a great piece, this was a while ago. This was on April 2nd, 2019. I've always remembered this piece. It was from Thomas Lee from Fundstrat. He's uh, been on MSNBC, huge Bitcoin bull. And he said he just laid it out like this, like, look, if you take away 10 specific days every year, those are where all the profits come for Bitcoin. So in 2013, if you would have taken your Bitcoin out for the top 10 most profitable days for Bitcoin in 2013, you'd be down 200%. If you would have taken out your Bitcoin for the top 10 days, this this uh, bluish, light bluish line right here, bar graph, uh, you would be down 133%. Sorry, the dark blue. The light blue is the top 10 days if you just would have left it in there and then sold on those days. So if you take it out for 355 days, all those are the other 355 days, you would be down massively. All you got to do is just KISS, keep it simple by just keeping everything in there. Same thing happened in 2015, 2016, and here's the kicker. In 2017, if you would have taken your Bitcoin out, during those 10 most profitable days, you would still be up 232%. However, if you just would have left it in those 10 days, 
you'd be up a thousand percent plus. And this is one of the things I talk about. If you're gonna trade, cool, just don't do 100% trading. Be an investor, uh, I can't tell you what to do. This is what I would do. Uh, I invest, right? But if you wanna do some trading, hey, 10%, 20%, 30%, whatever you wanna do, but uh, don't make it the lion's share because those 10 days really are where all the profits are. And this just isn't in Bitcoin, this is in a lot of different investments that are out there. So just be aware. Also on top of that, over at Dan Teaches Crypto, 100% free website, simplified everything that we can uh, really cram in there. I uploaded a new video called Why I Dollar Cost Average, and we talk exactly about those numbers. On top of, we take a look at dollar cost average techniques and value cost average techniques, and we see just how much you could potentially make just with 100 bucks. So when you have time, uh, go over there to danteachescrypto.com. The link is in the description. Very easy. And check that video out. All right, next up. Lastly, and this is a bummer, but it's going to happen more and more, especially uh, as everything goes to the roof. 2021 is going to be a massive year. It's going to be a massive year for, for all of us. It's also going to be a massive year for scammers. So this article was a, there's a fake Uniswap app on Google Play Store, and it's already lost one person 20 grand. Uh, the fraudulent mobile app already received 100 downloads. Pretty amazing. But what's more amazing is that it's still up in the Google Play Store. So Alex Saunders, founder and CEO of the Australia-based Nugget News. There's a guy right there. Very smart guy. If you haven't checked out his channel, uh, highly recommended. Uh, he's got a lot of great information. And uh, yeah, pretty smart guy. Recently reported that one of his members lost 20000 to a fake Uniswap mobile app. Listen on the Google Play Store. The app called Uniswap Dex was published November 10th by a person or entity called Uniswap Inc. Well, that makes sense, right? Hey, it's on the Google Play Store. It must be real. The user reportedly entered in their private key backup phrase. That's a no-no. Thinking they were accessing the Uniswap decentralized exchange when the theft occurred. At press time, the app has 123, likely fake, positive reviews on Google Play Store. It was still available for download. More than 100 people have downloaded the app so far. So here's the problem. And I'm not going to single out Alex over here from Nugget News, but uh, on this channel, we have done our due diligence and have really worked hard to get rid of a lot of scams. We used to do scams a day every single day. Over time, we have decreased that amount, but we have talked about scams. Just yesterday, I put a post out that said, hey, there is a fake PayPal scam. Everybody, please downvote, report, and get rid of it. Now, I have reached out to a lot of big YouTubers out there, and very few heeded my call and help me out with these with these scams. I'm not going to say names or whatever else. I'm just saying that I would think that if you're that concerned about the uh, community, you would have pitched in a little bit more. That's all I'm saying. I'm a very low-key guy. I just am. I don't really carry grudges or anything like that. But there is one thing that I uh, absolutely hate. And it's from all my years working with senior citizens when I was working in home health. And that is our scams. There is nothing worse when you lose a bunch of your money. It's one thing when you're a 20-year-old kid wet behind the ears and you lose a couple grand. It's another thing when you are 65, 75, 80 and you lose your entire life savings to a scammer. Thus, I will just say this. I want to thank all the other people out there that have helped me, uh, especially for you on this channel. You probably have done... Uh, your work and have uh, reported these scams and done the, done your, your hard work, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. But as a reminder, moving forward, there is going to be more scams. They're going to be more complex. People are going to get screwed out of their money left and right. So I will just ask you one favor. Please tell everybody about danteacherscrypto.com because the very first video in the second module, which the, the first module is all basics, is how to avoid scams. It's a long video, 26 minutes, but it probably would save you or people that you know a heck of a lot of time and heartache if they just watched this video. It is not how much you make, it is how much you keep. And to me, this is one of the things that I find to be quite important. Also, on top of that, I will just say this, there's the exchange of wallet fees. So even if you try to go to the, the right website, if you Google Uniswap, there's going to be ads that are going to pop up. Well, guess what? Google Play Store has a fake app in it. Don't you think that over on Google, they're going to allow other ads to be placed for uniswap.xyz.com. blah, 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 which will take you to a fake website? Perhaps so. It's happened before. So I will definitely recommend just going to the description of every one of my videos and bookmark this page. It's a 
free Google spreadsheet, exchange and wallet feeds, and it will take you exactly to the official websites and places, even Coinbase, Voyager Wallet, Celsius Wallet, Gemini, Binance, Uphold, Abra, Uniswap, SwiftXX, uh, Plutus, which I am uh, just evaluating right now, and all the things that I recommend and don't recommend. And just for transparency, yes, these are pretty much all affiliate links. So if you want to sign up for any of these, you can get $20 for Celsius, and I'll get $20. So it's a win-win. If you don't want to use the link, that's fine. Go ahead and try to Google everything, and good luck. I'm not going to beat around the bush anymore. That is just how it is. So it's all up to you, whatever you want to do. So uh, that's it for today's video. I know it's short and sweet. It's Friday. Ugh, so many things going on. But uh, let's see what happens over the weekend. huh? Who knows? We can come back, but like, hey, look, Bitcoin's at 20,000. Or, hey, look, Bitcoin's below 14,000. You don't know. It's crypto. That's what's crazy. So anyhow, thanks for sticking with me to the very end of the video. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like these types of videos, there'll be two months going to pop up on your left and right. Let uh, YouTube do their magic there. And uh, that's it. So everybody enjoy your weekend. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.